Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so it says which statements about statistical studies are true? So the idea in many of these questions is to present you with different situations and you have to figure out which of these make sense. So let's go through them. The first one says a survey of all English classes in a high school would be a good sample. So we're talking about samples here. Okay. To determine the number of hours students throughout the school spend studying. That's a pretty good one. And let's talk about why. That's pretty good because um, most students have to take some type of English class, right? This is generally a requirement. And because it's a requirement, you get all types of students from different backgrounds and different interests in the classroom taking this class. So it's somewhat random, it's somewhat diverse of a sample and representative of that high school. Not of all high schools, but at least that high school, right? So that, um, and it says here that the students throughout the school, so they're saying for that school. So for that school is probably a pretty good sample. You can't test everyone, right? Let's just take a look, right? Pretend we have everyone, too many people. You can only take a small sample, right? So the question is, if this is our sample right here, and then this is representative of our population, what things can we do to our sample to make sure it represents the population, right, in the best way possible? And one way to do that is to make sure your sample is fairly large. Okay, all English classes, it's going to be a lot of students in comparison to the population of the whole high school. And we can also say that our sample is somewhat random. You know, you're not picking a select group that has a certain bias. That's a pretty good choice. The second one, though, let's X this off and let's talk about why. This is a survey of all ninth graders in a high school would be a good sample to determine the number of student parking spaces needed at that high school. Well, here, one of the things you want to ask yourself when you're asking someone a question in a survey, would they know or would they be able to answer the thing you're asking them? So, for, so why would ninth graders be a good sample to determine the number of student parking spaces needed at that high school? Some ninth graders, they might know. Right? Maybe they have an older sibling who drives or they talked about it. That's possible. But most ninth graders are not involved in driving, so that wouldn't make sense, right? So I wouldn't ask a ninth grader about student parking spaces because most student parking spaces are reserved for seniors. Okay, so... So even though it's all ninth graders and it's a large population, it's, a, it's about a fourth of your school, right? Ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade. If that's the way the school is split up, it's not random enough. Okay, choice three: uh, a survey of all students in one lunch period in a high school will be a good sample to determine the number of hours adults spend on social media websites. Again, it doesn't make sense, even though there may be many students who know a lot about adult. Um, behavior on social media websites, um, they're not they're not going to be representative of that sample. They don't represent it, and you want your survey members to represent the group you're trying to find out, uh, find information about. And this would have been a good one if if it was just a random lunch period um, to find out something about the students that might work. But uh, in this case, these students are not representative of what the adults are doing, and vice versa. And for that reason, similar reason, we can cross off the last one. A survey of all calculus students in a high school would be a good sample to determine the number of students throughout the school who don't like math. Well, it might be true that you couldn't, you know, just because you have students taking calculus, which is typically an advanced math course in a high school, you can't assume that everyone in the course does like math. Of course, it's true that many students might just be doing it for different reasons, not because they love math. Um, but you're, you're really getting a biased group here because these students have stuck with math and are taking an advanced course. So they're not going to represent students who, for example, might drop math or decide to focus on something else. So they are not representative of the school. So here I would just pick choice one. All right, hope that helped.